Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back, it's Matt here. And today I'm gonna to be showing you how to get the Google Assistant on any Android device running Marshmallow or Nougat, no matter which country you're in. So currently it's out in the US, and I'm gonna show you how to get it no matter which country you're in. So the first step you wanna do is go to your browser and search Google App Beta. So you wanna sign up for the beta program, click on this link here. I'll also have it linked down below in the description, and then simply click the button to become a tester. Now, once you've done that, it will take a few minutes to activate your account. And then once you've done that, go into the Play Store and then go into your apps, click on the beta tab, which should have appeared by now, and you should see your Google app there. So what you want to do is click on it. It will have a little message in the screen box below to tell whether you're actually a tester or not, or it might say whether you have to wait. And then you need to go ahead and update the app. So that will update to the latest beta version, which will include the Google Assistant functionality. And then after that, you need to go into your settings, general management, you want to go into your language and change your language to the US. So it will only work if you set it to US, it will activate the feature within the Google app beta, which will allow you to use Google Assistant. Now once you've done all that, it should work straight away. If it hasn't restart your device and then try again. If it still hasn't definitely feel free to contact me in the comments section or by private message, and I will try and help you guys out. A really cool thing about the Google Assistant is that you can actually go ahead and add your smart HomeKit devices. So you can add smart light bulbs, your smart heating system, smart plugs, stuff like that. And another really cool thing is you can actually set up your own nickname. So it will actually call you that every time it refers to your name. So I really think this is cool. A really huge benefit of this over the OK Google or Google Now is the fact that you have a much better conversation flow. It's much more like Siri or Cortana. Much better than Cortana, I must say. But overall, it just has much more flow to it. Google responds with much more of a natural voice and it's pretty much the same functionality as you get inside Google Home. So there you go, guys. I really hope you enjoyed and I really hope it worked for you all. If it didn't, remember just to contact me down below. Don't forget to comment, rate and subscribe. And thank you so much for watching.